from the Tamil community and uh, thank you for inviting me. I'm uh, part of Transnational Government of Tamil Nadu. Um, that's an organization uh, formed in the whole diaspora of Tamils uh, in more than 18 countries. Um, so um, we named as a government, but we are not a government. Uh, but we all know one says the disappearance, uh, uh, no colors. Blood as a color, everybody knows it is red. But we know the pain in blood. So there are only small community uh, in the world knows the pain of blood. That's, I think, we all in here knows the pain of blood. So, in Sri Lanka, the Tamil community has been disappeared, massacred for the past 60 years. Um, the disappearing Tamils and mass graves of Tamil victims is nothing new in Sri Lanka. Is the Sri Lankan government's calculated design to subjugate and terrorize the Tamil population. The first recorded disappearance of Tamils was in 1979, when three youths were arrested from their homes by Sri Lankan security forces, went missing. After several days, a badly tortured body of one of those taken into custody was found in a sidewalk. The other two were never found, and the disappearance of Tamils started in earnest by the Sri Lankan government. Despite mass protest and international outcry, no one was held accountable for this disappearance or the killing. This was the beginning of impunity in Sri Lanka, which continues to this day. Thousands of Tamils disappeared since the 1979 disappearances and always the perpetrators escaped and accountability and enjoyed total impunity. For the success in Sri Lankan governments, disappearing Tamils became a convenient tool to achieve government's political goal of subjugating and terrorizing Tamils. A 1999 study by the United Nations found that Sri Lanka had the second highest number of disappearance in the world. Several disappeared in the final months of the war that ended in May 2009. No one know the actual numbers. Still, we are figuring it out. More than 40,000 dead and more than 100,000 disappeared. We don't know the figures yet. Every organization, every institution figure some numbers. But still, nobody knows the exact fear of who disappeared. That's the very bad situation in Sri Lanka because that part of the country the Tamil island of the country, the Sri Lanka, they call it Sri Lanka. We call it two different states in there. One is the Tamil. Our people lives in there. That part of the country, still, it's like a prison. No foreigners can go in. No media allowed in there. Only the authorized Sri Lankan government supported media can go in there. So after the 2009 massacre, we are still asking the international diaspora, international organizations like here. Because this disappearance, we can see it's on the video, it's nothing to do with language color of the skin, nothing to do with the religion. It's only the, the suppressed people and the suppressed. 
So what we need to do, how we can go for this disappearance, we need to work on it. The mass graves of Tamil victims, mass graves of Tamil victims also have a long history. The first major mass grave <coughs> was found in 1996 in a place called Germany in the Jaffna district where hundreds of decomposed bodies were found. These were the bodies of Tamils who were killed when the Sri Lankan security forces captured Jaffna in 1995. Since then, several more major mass graves were found in different parts of Tamil areas of the island. As usual, no one was brought to justice. And those involved in this mass killing of Tamil civilians enjoyed total impunity. An analysis of satellite images taken during the height of the war, the American Association for the Advancement of Science has reported that on 19th April 2009, the images showed the roads in the civilian safe zone to be mostly deserted. The images taken on the 24th of April 2009 showed a large graveyard in the same area the large means, it's not hundreds, it consists of thousands. They bulldozed the area, put the bodies in, just filled with sand. Thousands and thousands of bodies within a week's period. That's the, the highlight of the massacre happens in May 12 to May 19 of the year 2009. So that the analysis identified three different graveyards, counting a total of uh, 1,346 likely graves. In the circumstances, it is likely that more and more graves would be discovered if free access to the area is available and the security forces do not take any steps to obliterate the graves that is, however, only with regard to the graves alleged to be those of the victims of the last war in the Bani. There could be many more such mass graves in other parts where the war was fought. It should be noted that the government of Sri Lanka is steadfastly refusing to allow any outsiders to the area where the final war took place, where mass graves are found through satellite imagery and large-scale disappearance took place it reinforces the importance of holding an international commission of inquiry as recommended by the recent UN report to find an answer to the mass disappearance and mass graves of Tamil victims. That means the recent report means uh, United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon appointed a three-member committee to study about this and uh, that's an independent inquiry. They released a report got 200 of pages, it says it has happened. Now they are asking for an international independent inquiry into what happened in, back in Sri Lanka in 2009 war. Actually at this moment, it started yesterday in Geneva, the United Nations um, Human Rights Council conferences going upon there. We tried several ways. We tried several countries. We tried several organizations put a resolution into the Human Rights Council to make an independent inquiry in Sri Lanka. But many countries refuse to do that. Many countries, they say, we are supporting you but not at this moment. But still, we are hoping if there may be any last chance, any resolutions may pass against Sri Lanka. So we need to wait until 17th of June to see what's going to happen. So my conclusion is the disappearance and mass graves. Several parts of this world is happened, is happening, and it's continued to happen as well. So the older world of the suppressed community 
need to put hands together, work together to get a solution for this mass disappearance and this grace. Thank you.